The ANET A8 is an affordable DIY 3D printer kit. The first layer in the kit includes the hotbed, linear bearings, bolts, nuts, screws and mounting hardware, a hotbed carriage, wiring and power cable, a small amount of white PLA filament, frame parts and tools. The second layer includes acrylic frame parts, spool holder, belt, cooling fans, micro SD with a USB card reader, USB cable and a main circuit board and display. The final layer includes more frame parts, access support, cooling fan and duct, spiral cable wrap, lead screw, steel and threaded rods, four stepper motors, extruder assembly and a power supply. The build starts with assembly in the frame. Before beginning we need to remove the protective paper from all the acrylic parts. The frame parts are joined together and secured with a nut and bolt. After completing the first part of the upright frame, install the Y-axis limit switch, then begin assembling the Y-axis motor frame mounts and install them to the main frame. The next part is to assemble the front section of the frame with a bearing for the Y-axis belt. The front and rear sections of the frame are assembled together with threaded rods. Install the guide rod covers onto the front and rear of the frame, then pass the guide rods through the frame and add two linear bearings on each rod. With the guide rods installed, place the covers over the ends of the rods. Add the Y-axis belt clamps to the bed carriage, then bolt the carriage to the bearings. Place one end of the belt into the clamps and tighten. Feed the other end of the belt through the front bearing and around the Y-axis motor. Apply some tension to the belt, then tighten down the second clamp and cut the belt. Check the movement of the Y-axis and the belt is in line with the motor. To adjust, loosen the screws on the pulley, adjust the position, then re-tighten the screws. The next step is to install the hotbed with a screw, spring and nut in each corner. Build the Z-axis motor mounts and assemble to the frame. Take the two Z-axis motors and plug in the cables. Then pass the cables through the frame and install the motors. With the Z-axis motors installed, install the Z-axis limit switch to the frame. Place the guide rods through the top of the frame and through the motor mounts into the bottom of the frame. Then repeat the same step on the other side. Install the lead screw through the supports and into the motor coupling, then tighten the screws. With both sides level, place the x-axis guide rods through the supports and install the linear bearings. Then tighten the two small screws to hold the rods in place. Next, install the x-axis limit switch. Disassemble the extruder and install the heat sink and cooling fan. Mount the extruder bracket to the x-axis linear bearings and on the back install two screws which will secure the belt. Pass the belt through the motor mount and install the x-axis motor. Then loop the belt around the bearing on the second side. Cable tie the end of the belt into a loop and install over the screw. Add tension to the belt and loop over the second bolt, cable tie and trim the ends. Reinstall the extruder to the bracket and add the cooling fan. Install and bolt the display to the frame, then mount the power supply and the main circuit board to the frame. Plug in the remaining cables to the x-axis, y-axis, extruder motor and hotbed. Tidy the cabling by wrapping with the provided spiral wrap. Move the extruder to the bottom corner and place a cable holder on the back of the display. Then plug all the cables and wiring to the main board to complete the wiring. The final component to assemble is the filament holder. Check over and level the x-axis height, adjust the z-stop switch and level the hotbed. To print, preheat the hotbed and extruder. Then once heated, insert the filament. Insert the micro SD card with the file into the main board. Select SD card from the menu mount the card and select the file to print. The first test print is a fossil fish with an articulating body. The print has a small surface area on the first few layers 
so it is printed onto a raft to help keep it in place. Once printed, allow the finished print to cool slightly, then remove from the print bed. All the joints on this item are joined together and move freely. The second test print is a vase. This is set to print with 0.4mm walls and 0.2mm layer height. The vase printed smoothly and to an impressive quality finished item. There are many mods and safety upgrades available to consider for the printer. Be prepared to spend some time researching, setting up, troubleshooting and fine tuning. For a completely stock build, the Anet A8 is a good cheap 3D printer with quality prints.